Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh, God, it's over. Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you... Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy... All right, then I guess... Thank you. This means the world to me. I've met some odd couples in... <laughs> Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. Okay, okay. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home, and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She has, though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or th uh, t sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen... Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? Oh. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Something about that shade seems rather... odd. Hey, look at... It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man. Perhaps it belongs to... Oh no. I fear it likely, lad. Well, this is terrible. However difficult it may be, we...
Hey, did you find my... Sp we didn't, but... Oh, no. This... This is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh, God. How could... <laughs> If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... because... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Serious. I see. So, he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also... Oh, if I didn't eat that app... Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You... Run away? Have you lost your mind? Uh huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with... I can't believe you didn't... What?! Oh, my... You, kid! I'm right about this, yeah? If it... Wait, you're... Well, you shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. But I was hungry! Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Uh-oh. Did... Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for... Ha! You're damn right I did, and... You there! My husband's in the wrong... <clears throat> Pardon... Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now a big talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf. This is exact... Fine, hate me. I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable... Vice, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can... That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? And... Uh, actually... Wait. You're kidding. Well, I sort of wanted... Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for... <sighs> I have no idea what just... Well, looks like they made up, so... In the course of all that madness, I... Oh, heck, the canal! We... can't thank you enough. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you of... Oh, right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be... Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. with the red bags were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their re relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird.
If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just... Hey, wait. Huh? I almost forgot. Huh? She said she needed something from you. I guess so. Opala said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your 
Friend? Yep, I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a ho And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. I see. Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super nice. And he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona, listen. Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Great. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice... No, it isn't. How can these creatures let us dispatch them without complaint? And what would make them appear in this area in the first place? This is hardly what one would call a especially fertile ground. We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, write the... Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? Sure is something, huh? 
She must have nerves of pure steel. Uh, I'm sure it. She must have. Uh, I'm sure it's something. She must. She must. She must She must. Kind of sure she must have. I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared?
Hey. I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. <coughs> This the picture has changed. What foul hole did they crawl from? You're a male. Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <laughs> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? 
What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor. So if you'd like my assistance... No, please. Don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. Vice, what should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez. Remind me to never get on your bad side. What's that? A butler. I knew this was a trap. He's a good man at heart, but a bit inflexible, almost like a statue. Yes, and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from... Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold, and I, f I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we... Uh... Or at least this lad beside me is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades, and I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task! Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, we've no more time to waste, so... 
It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah. I do not like anything about this place. Vice? Oh, aren't we clever? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. <laughs> Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. Pages of this infernal book are sharp as knives. Guess you never learned that trick, huh? There's no end to this!
I can't petrify it. this thing. Help! This foe's strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this... Fuck! This book is a real asshole! She's not even listening. Too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go. This is my fight. I can't ask you to die for me. I aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. Besides, we never let you do that. Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? Guess so. Now! Vice, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble to find it, and now... Oh, look. Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all. Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand?
promise I'll never give up, Kaine. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able... I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Speak the truth, Hussy. Look, shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. We've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. Yona, you need to lie down. I know. It won't be much longer, I promise. I finally collected all of the sealed verses. Now, I just need to find Grimoire Noir. Sounds dangerous. Will you be okay? <laughs> of course I will. Is this gonna make me better? Is my cough going to go away? Definitely. <sighs> Yona? You... You're... You're not gonna hate me because of this, are you? What are you talking about? It's just... I... I don't want you to hate me because of this terrible disease. Yona, I could never hate you. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if Popola has more medicine. Jonas looking weaker and weaker every day. Yes, but do not lose heart. You are the girl's last remaining hope.
Coppola. Yona's cough is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Any chance you could give me some more medicine? Please? The thing is, I actually just ran out. I hate to ask this, but can you get me some vapor moss? You'll find it growing near the southern gate. Vapor moss, huh? I'll be right back. What is it? What happened? Hurry. Emil! He doesn't seem to be sick. I think it's just fatigue. I can't imagine how hard it must have been to run all this way without sight. Are you all right, Emil? I can see it. Hey, just take it easy, okay? The air. It's, I can feel it behind my eyes. So much pressure. I'll get out. Get out of the village. Huh? Sounds like they're already here. Come on, let's go. are attacking! The hell's going on? No time! Get everyone into the library! Please! Make sure Yona's safe. Don't worry. I'll grab her. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? I won't. Now go, Devola. We have to stop them before they destroy the village! Dispatch these smaller ones as fast as you can. I'll kill every last one of you! You welts are hardly worthy of our steel. Come on. Bring everything you got! Pathetic. Even in death, they disgust me. Don't let any of you pass me! <laughs> 
Get everyone into the library. It's the strongest building in town. Hurry! Hurry! Get the wounded to the library! That brute. I don't know, but we gotta take it down. closer and make him attack. Generating shade. How will we even know if our attacks are working? We'll just have to keep hitting it until we find out. Keep leaping into bodies of water. It's not me. It's almost like my body just.
This isn't working. So what do we do? You guys having a good time? Huh? Kaine! Underestimate us at your own peril, fiend. Keep hitting it. At some point, it's gotta start working. Is she trying to raise our morale, or is she honestly that insane? Either one works for me. Let's go! Heading toward the library. No, not where Yona is. You're almost there. Keep pushing. You're gonna die today, shit hog. Shit. Oh, come now, that's not even a real word. That beast will crush you to a paste. I don't care. I have to save Yona. Looks like you've learned how to swing that thing. I'm glad you noticed. You really know how to put up a fight, Kaine. Come on, keep pushing it! Did you leave your strength in your other pair of undergarments? Shut up, asshat! Oh no, Shade's in the library. Jonah! Emil, are you okay? I can't keep fighting like this. I have to. There's no other choice. Otherwise, why did I even come here? Get out of here, Emil! No! I won't abandon these people now! You told me once that my eyes had value, and that I shouldn't be ashamed of them. You told me that even a life like mine had purpose. So I won't just sit around and let you fight while I stay behind. Emil... Just don't die on me. I won't, Kaine. Let's take care of these shit hogs. <laughs> I like it.
Is there no way to kill this infernal thing? Chase it to the basement and seal it there. Those walls are thick rock. I doubt even this beast could break them. Works for me. Great. I love basements. Dear God. <laughs> Yoda! Is that the leader of these creatures? Finally. Where am I? 
It's been a long time, Grimoire Vice. Who are you? What is this place? I am Grimoire Noir. I am you. What? Do you not remember, Grimoire Vice? We too serve a higher purpose. Enough lies! Stay back! Why do you try to suppress the memory? Do you fear hurting someone close to you? Preposterous! Your denial is preposterous! We are mere books created to serve the Shadow Lord. You have no right to forsake him. <laughs> the Shadow Lord? Do you remember our ultimate goal? Our ultimate goal? White and black shall fuse to one and set free shades to the world. Fuse? Us? No, I cannot. I will not. I will never! Your chance encounter with this boy. Your collection of the sealed verses. It was all set in motion by the Shadow Lord himself. No. Lies. The time has come for us to create a new and perfect world. <laughs> we shall become as one, you and I. <laughs> Become... one. Vice! You dumbass! Cry... me. Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord. Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! <sighs> I am one with the Shadow... Huh? Bitch. We grimoires exist to create in this world a new and just paradise. We must unite. The world demands it. Paradise. Yes, and we are so close to realizing it. Please don't go, Vice. Who's there? It's okay. I'll understand. I'll understand if you forget us. But... I promise I won't forget you. I'll remember you. No matter what. I'll keep the memory of Grimoire Vice alive forever. And that's... That's not all I'll do. You hear me? Chase you to the end of time, and I'll bring you back to us. So, please, please, please come back. Damn it, we need to stop him. If we don't do something, that black book will absorb vice. Black, white, black, white. Yes, now we shall unite in common purpose. Then the world can finally bear witness to our true power. Boys! 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 <laughs> For the last time, my name is Grimoire Vice, 
and it is not to be abbreviated. Uh, Vice! Vice! Good to see you, Kaine. Although I don't think anyone has ever accused me of being a little bitch before. <laughs> and you, we meet again. Vice, you okay? I believe I could ask you the same question right now. Impossible. We must unite. We must become as one. I don't like you, and I want nothing to do with you. Besides, I have my companions. You're back. Of course, they're weak, and they whine when I leave. Right. It's almost too much trouble, but they are my friends. I shall fight by their side, now and forever. Vice, thanks. <clears throat> are still there. How dare you ignore them? Perhaps you should have scribbled them in my margins. Mm -hmm. Let us start by dispatching the nearby distractions. <laughs> I'll get them back, Vice. Oh, oh. It will take more than that to make us flinch. And you are the last one left, Noir. Address me by my proper name, fool! Stay back! I can't run now. Damn. This library isn't gonna hold for long. We must finish this quickly. Stand in time. Yonna. <laughs> 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 
Get up! No! Give my sister back! No matter how things unfold, it all returns to us. All of it. Yona! 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 Are you okay? Yona! Is this blood? The fight's over. And I think we are lost. We? Sorry, guys. I think this is it. For me, too. <laughs> Kinda, no! Oh, quit crying. Look, before I go, we need to take care of this guy. Emil? Y yeah I want you to... I want you to petrify me. You can use me to keep this thing locked away down there. No! I can't! Kaine! Stop! He's right! It's suicide! You can't do it! Your powers exist to protect others, right? Kaine! Just do it, Emil. But... If you don't, it's gonna break down this fucking door! I... I don't know what to do! Kaine, no! God damn it! Kaine, god damn Kaine, god damn it! No more crying, okay? <laughs> Grow strong. <laughs> Never lose hope. Vice. Spare me the goodbye, hussy. I imagine it will take more than this to kill you. <laughs> I doubt it. Thank you.